Hey everybody, Scott here again. Uh, I thought I was done too, but they pulled me back in. The uh, the guy, the nice guys at uh, Rigbusters asked me to make five custom presets with some of their pedal uh, profiles through their Cornford MK uh, 50H2. So I have made five signature profiles, and they are going to be free on their website in a few days. So uh, go to Rigbusters. Check out the, uh, there's going to be a link in the description. And you can go and get these presets, these, I'm calling them presets, because god damn it, that's what they are. Both free. So, uh, I don't have any title anymore because I, I, I tossed my old uh, thing. So, let's just go right into the, uh, the profile, shall we? The first one is called Freaky Brute. It is based on that uh, Brute Drive, Eric Gale's pedal. And I have made it do some fun stuff. The next one I am calling Gritty Chorus, and it is based on the Clone Centaur. I don't think it's an actual Clone Centaur, I think they got a clone pedal. Check out the website, you'll find out what's what. But this one is uh, interesting because it's got two choruses happening, but one of the choruses uh, is affected by the low end, and the other uh, is set so that the uh, it doesn't happen until you get to the top end of the guitar, which is kind of neat. So you can uh, do stuff like this. So it's a uh, low gain. This one is based on, uh, like I said, the Clone Center. And uh, it, uh, you know, if you go full on humbucker with it. You can get some tones. The next one is based on the uh, Wampler Pinnacle, which is a pretty uh, pretty high gain pedal. And uh, this one, I'm calling the Phase Wah. And, oh, I'm sweating. Whew, it's warm in here. I turned the air off. It's Texas. Probably shouldn't have done that until October. But, I digress. Uh, this one, uh, I've set up a phaser that sounds almost like a touch wah. And it's got some fun other effects on it as well. But uh, go full humbucker on this one and it can rock. Oh, good times. Next is the Spinning Timmy. Now this one uh, is based on the Paul Cochran Timmy pedal. And not doing a lot of uh, uh, gain on this one. It's a uh, rotary. Thank <laughs> you. 
it's got a nice throaty sound to it um, and you know you can get that sort of that Stevie Ray thing when he would uh, play through the Leslie good times finally last but not least the triple fuzz now the Triple Fuzz is interesting because it is based on their uh, Analog Man Sunface fuzz pedal, which I really really like. I did a uh, sort of a review of it once with G-System videos. It doesn't work well with the G-System because of the buffered loops, unless you run it through the front end, then it's awesome. But their uh, profile of it is really good. But you know what? I wanted more fuzz. So I put two more fuzz pedals in the stomps, and when you stack three fuzzes on top of one another, you get a lot of fuzz. ton of sustain. Um, it's got a little bit of flanger on it because I thought, you know, why not a flanger? I'm playing it next to no volume in here. Uh, so yeah, crank that sucker up and it'll sustain for days. Um, so there you go. Those are the five Rig Busters Scott Minch signature profiles and they're going to be up on the Rig Busters website. I'll put this up, uh, you know, on the usual, usual places so that you can all uh, find it and access it and uh, put these in your Kemper for free. And now I'm done, I swear. So yeah, threw away the pick. I can't do anything without a pick. I'm worthless without a pick. So, there you go, everybody. Please have a good weekend. And love your campers. Give your camper a big hug and a kiss for me. I have to send this one back to Doug next week, so this is my swan song, so to speak. Everybody, rock on. <laughs>